In this tutorial, we'll be recreating this glitchy distortion effect in After Effects without using any plugins. This was inspired by a username called mustard underscore yeah on Instagram, who came up with this style of effects, so shout out to him and thanks for the inspiration. Now let's get started. So I've got this clip that I've selected, and the first thing I want to do is go into my tracker and select track camera so we can have some 3D tracking. So once this is done, we've got these basic tracker markers here and you do want to make sure you have enough of these. So this is a pretty good amount, I would say. But if you want more of these, go into the advanced tab and select detailed analysis and let it track again. So using these trackers, we're actually going to drive most of the effects here. Now, if you go into render track points here, you can see that it basically bakes the tracking markers on top of our clip. So once we render this out, this is what it's going to look like. Now we can also change the size of them. So I want to go for something like 60 here, just so it's rather small and not too big. And what I want to do here is duplicate this clip and we'll call this trackers. Now on my main layer, I will delete the camera tracker and add an effect called difference mat. Now I'll hide the tracking layer and on my main clip here, under the difference mat, I'll change the clip to trackers and select effects and mask. So now we've basically isolated these tracking markers on a separate layer. Let me duplicate the main clip here and we'll get rid of this effect. And these two, I will pre-compose them and let's call this trackers and mobile attributes. So now I've got this layer isolated with only the tracking markers and our basic clip. Now, if I drop a fill effect on this, you can see that we basically color our tracking markers so we can change it to white and get these cool little details here. I will also set the opacity to maybe 60 and most of our effects are actually gonna be driven by these little dots. So let's add a minimax effect to this and I'll change my channel here from color to alpha. Now on my first layer, I do wanna set this to maybe like just one so the tracking markers are less noticeable. I will also go back in here and maybe set them to something like 50 so it's less of a tracking marker, but more like a dot. And now let's duplicate the layer. We'll call this one points. And this one will be squares. And I'll set the opacity here to 100. So now here I'll increase the radius until we get some decent sized squares. So something like this should be good enough. You don't want to go too big. And we can use this to create some distortion. So the first effect I'm going to add here is on my main clip and it's going to be a displacement map. And if I select the squares layer, make sure I select effects and mask, I can now distort my clip judging by these squares. And to avoid these kind of black spots, I'm just going to wrap pixels around. And now we've got this cool little distortion effect using these squares. Now let's duplicate this layer and we'll call this color. Now this is something I didn't use in my main render, but in case you want to, you can add a find edges effect here and invert it and set the layer to screen. And now you got these white little outlines here, which is also a pretty common effect, I believe. So there is that, but I don't want to use this one and I'm going to get rid of it. So I just showed you that in case you want to use this. Now on my color layer, I'll actually disable the fill effect and set the layer to soft light. So now we got this color distortion happening and I will duplicate it and under my minimax here I'll set the direction to horizontal or vertical let's go with vertical and if we increase the size here you can see that we get these cool looking streaks also driven by the tracking markers and you can play around with different transfer mode here so for example we can set this to add to receive these kind of streaks but what makes this look kind of cool is if we rotoscope the clip so let's duplicate this main layer here and I'll isolate it Let's name this Roto and we get rid of the displacement map, select our Roto brush and double click the layer. Now I'll create a quick rotoscope around our character here. So let's go over here and just select our subject. Now I do mention this every time when rotoscoping that you want to give it first good frame and let it do its magic afterwards. So let me play this through here and this is looking good enough for me. I'm just going to hit freeze and let it run through. Once this is done, let's go back into our main composition and I will pre-compose this roto layer. We'll call this roto and we'll copy back the displacement map effect over here. And right now we got that updating with the displacement map and let's enable everything. 
we can get rid of the displacement map on this layer and I'll drop it here and call this background. So it will be our basically clean background, you can say, and just lower the opacity to maybe 15. And now you can see that we're getting this cool looking effect here of the squares and the colors are making more sense. So we can go back to the color layers here and play around with the shapes and scale them up and down however we need to. Now in my main render, I've had these small numbers here following along the track and sort of flickering. So I've done this by going into the tracker clip again and I did select my camera tracker and selected random points here and we can right click and create a text and a camera. So we'll copy these three text layers and the camera and we make sure we disable them in this composition and paste them into our main comp and basically we got the numbers following along and we can actually move them a bit here. And to make them sort of flicker, if you search for an effect called numbers, there's actually a random whole numbers preset that basically scrubs through random numbers. But I believe this is in the latest After Effects. So if you don't have that version, what I do recommend is we can go into this text layer, for example, and we'll go down here and under animate, select character offset, then alt click the character offset and type in random, say open bracket 100. And then it just scrolls through random numbers as well. So this is basically how you can recreate this type of effect. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.